Hey everybody, Tony here from Papa's Toy Shop. Just jumping in before tonight's video. Um, I told you guys before I was going to do a giveaway if I hit that magic number of 100 subscribers. Well, I actually hit 102 subscribers now. So thank you guys very much for getting me up there. And this latest video that I did with the Pop Culture Box is just amazing how many um, people have viewed the video. I'm over 530 views so far, which is just blows anything out of the water, anything else I've had before. So as promised, I'm doing a giveaway. On tonight's video, uh, you guys need to like, share, and uh, comment on tonight's video. Just send, leave me a comment of some sort saying, you know, love the video, hated the video, whatever. Just don't just say hi. I don't really, you know, be interactive. I mean, give me something. Uh, but I'm going to choose one person uh, next week. I'll give it seven days uh, from today when the video will come out. And I will be giving away a diamond uh, Flareon, and this is from the WonderCon. This is the, the actual con stickered one. Uh, the PPG right now, I believe, is $49. I said I was going to do around $50 for something. This one's $49. And uh, the way it keeps going, I think it's going to end, end up being higher than that. So Pokemon is very popular. I'm probably butchering the name, but Flareon, 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 I don't know how you say it. But anyway. That will be the prize, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Get my name out there more, and I said one person in one week I'll be picking uh, out of the people that leave the comment and have liked the video. One person will be receiving this free of charge, no postage, nothing. It'll be coming straight to you guys. So thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoy the video tonight. Hey everybody, welcome back to Papa's Toy Shop. I knew it. I'm Tony, this is my daughter Reagan. She wanted to be in this video so she could open a couple boxes. Uh, of course, my daughter Hannah is back behind the camera. So, and she's our, our support where she looks up things for us too, in case we need to look something up. So, anyway, got a couple of good mystery boxes today. Um, first thing we're going to start off with though, got some of these. Uh, GameStop had a good sale, uh, it was like a clearance sale where you could get these for like two bucks or something like that. So I grabbed, uh, I got three of the Daisy Dukes Paka Pacas. And then I also got some of the, um, I got another one too that I'll do in another video. I got three more of those too. So let's go ahead and open these up and we'll see what kind of Paka Pacas we got. I'm gonna cheat and use a knife. I've opened That's LOLs mean. before, You're not Dad. supposed to do that. I've opened LOL so I know how to open these. <laughs> You're disrespecting them. Alright, and we have... It is a little... Don't be so I don't know what kind of dog this is. <laughs> Looks like a chihuahua You've or something. Got that one. It's got a little... That a one? Little, little shorts on it. That one is a... Chase. It's a chase? Yeah. Oh, good. We got a chase one. And it's let's, not on. Let's see the other one that we got. That one's name is... Looks like a Basset, Basset Hound. His, His name's, name's Cheats. Cheats. And it's a super common. Super common. So, all right. You have to get the other one open. Might take a second. Don't worry about the trash pile. That's what the kids are for to clean up later. Hey! <laughs> this one is that's a hyper rare. Ooh, a hyper rare. Some type of blue poodle. I don't think you have this one. You might. I do have a bunch of these Daisy Dukes already on my... Got them all... Um, I don't know if I got them all up on my website or not, but oh, I do wait. have a bunch of them. So. We have all of them except for this one and this one. So, yeah, it's a little blue poodle with sparkly purple pants. So... And it's a hyper rare, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. I really like these little little things. They're they're kind of neat. Something cheap. It's basically just like a mystery mini, but you know, well, different this characters. One's so name is I think it was like it had it started with C. It's not cheap. Cornelius. No. <laughs> Cornelius yeah. Fudge. All right, we'll move those off to the side. All right, next thing we got, we're gonna do. Uh, this month's Geek Fuel. 
Um, I've always had a good luck with these things, uh, especially the t-shirts that come in them. They're really neat t-shirts. And for, this is one of the few mystery boxes where I can get t-shirts that might actually fit me, you know, because they have size tall fat. So we'll go ahead and open this one up. I don't know if this would be considered June or May. I, I don't know how their shipping works, but if it says inside anything, well, I'll let you know. So we'll go ahead and cut that open. go set that to the side and let you open it we'll see what we got inside sure all right of course we got first thing we got is a t-shirt it says world video boxing association i think i know what this name is and i'm not sure what's it says world video boxing association presents little Little Brown Brawler and South Pacific Puncher, the kid. I wonder if this is from that knockout game from back in the early days of Nintendo and stuff like that, or even Atari. Because, I mean, the names sound familiar, so. If you check the tag, sometimes it has, like, what it's It just says uh, Geek Fuel um, on it. Never mind. So, it has little boxing gloves with it, too. So. the next thing? All right, well, that's a neat t-shirt. I like that. Next. All right, we have, this appears to be a wrestling theme because we have Andre the Giant. And there's two different ones, looks like. He has the one in his normal uh, wrestling outfits you always see him in. that has the sash across and then, then another one where he's wearing a, a coat and he has a little beer can with him as well, too. So I read a thing that said that he drank, God, it was like 80 beers all at once. And, you know, when he held the can, I mean, his, his hand was so big, the can looked tiny in it. It was just it's unreal how big this guy was. So, anyway, Super 7 uh, action figure. So, Andre the Giant. That's pretty nice. Then we have... Oh, another one of It's a Pin Pals. And let's see... what it is it just says do you have guts and it looks like a little mountain of some sort so not quite sure what that is um, I'm guessing it's wrestling related in some way huh. not sure hmm. alright what's next this which I have no idea what to do Oh, it's oh, it's a water bottle. So, squirt water bottle. Like it. it says Michael's secret stuff on it. And it says secret stuff water bottle. Looks like this is from Space Jam. Because that's that's the uh, Space Jam kind of logo on it. I think in the original movie, uh, they had a, a part where Michael had disappeared and they had to play like Michael. And so, Bugs Bunny had Michael's secret stuff that had just water and he passed it around and got everybody to think they were all, you know, special and stuff. Oh, yeah, so, when they were about to fight the aliens. Yeah, so I think, I'm pretty sure that's what that's from. So, huh, that's pretty neat. And what else we got? Uh, this is the last thing. Oh, nothing else in the box? Nope, we just have the, uh, have the uh, cheat card, <laughs> if I can cheat. think of it. Put my glasses on so I can actually see it. This is Geek Fuel, Ch Fuel Champions Edition of 2021. Up here. And it says we have Andre the Giant Super 7 reaction figure. While Andre the Giant needs no introductions, he is known worldwide for two very different fandoms. For some, he is remembered as the larger than life WWF Hall of Fame wrestler that headlined the main event at WrestleMania 3 in 1987 and 1988 alongside Hulk Hogan. For others, he's the fan favorite Fezzik from the cult classic The Princess Bride, and I love that movie. I actually have all the Funko Pops of that movie, except for Fezzik. I'm still working on getting him. He was in so, The Princess Bride? Yes, he was their, their giant in there. Huh. It says you receive one of two oversized Super 7 reaction figures featuring either Andre in wrestling singlet or with a can of beer or his trademarked vest on a 
on a crushing retro style card. Well, that's, I guess they both come with beer cans. If you look at the picture, they both have one in their hands. So, all right, next we have the Geek Fuel Secret Stuff water bottle. Don't call it a comeback. Get ready for the next installment of intergalactic hoops between the real world and the squad with the clutch container of secret stuff so you can stay a hydro homie on or off the court. Remember the secret stuff is already in you and you got a lot a lot of well whatever it is you got a lot of it. Right. All right, then we have Return of the Mac exclusive t-shirt. This month we pay homage to, homage homage to the game that sits comfortably atop the leaderboard of all-time classics. From its eclectic cast of characters to the hours upon hours of playability, we couldn't get enough of this title. And, and almost 34 years later, we have a helping hand from Doc in our corner. We still haven't thrown in the towel. I guess it's, the game is called Return of the Mac. I've never heard of it. All right, and then we have the pin, which is a special glow-in-the-dark edition. It says, for most part, we don't have any regrets, but there are two that still haunt us to this day. The first is never going to space camp. I actually went to space camp when I was a kid. It was Space Academy. Uh, I was 15. I got there, went there for my uh, 15th birthday. It was pretty cool. I was still the fat kid, so I didn't get to do the, all the really cool stuff, but I still had a lot of fun. Made a, made a lot of good friends that I don't ever talk to anymore. <laughs> so back then we didn't have Facebook and all that, so it really wasn't very easy to keep up with people, so... Uh, it says, uh, the second and arguably harder to achieve is never winning a glowing piece of the radical rock. Now we can all share in the glory with this miniature replica of the greatest glowing trophy in the history of kid TV sports. Just one quick question. Do you have it? The answer is yes. Yes, you do. Not real sure what that is. I'm guessing Guts maybe is a, a, a game show for kids. I really don't know. Huh. Might be a Nickelodeon game show. Then on the back you have a puzzle or a maze, and you have a word search puzzle as well. I can so, do it. so all right, that's pretty cool. I'm I'm always uh, pleased with the uh, Geek Fuel boxes. They seem to always have some neat stuff in it. It's not always the greatest, but they do always. It's always pretty neat, and they're not that expensive either. So, all right, we'll go ahead and put this stuff off to the side. I can only do drawled mazes. I can't do mazes in real life. Oh, uh, okay. It's too hard. All right. Next we have is the, uh, it was a six-pack soda uh, mystery box from Spastic Collectibles. I wasn't sure when I opened the box what it was because I was expecting an order from Spastic Collectibles, but it ended up being uh, my mystery box. And so it is still completely taped. I have not opened this at all. I don't know what's in it. So we're going to open it up and check out some sodas. Yay. Hopefully we come across some good chases. So... How many sodas are in there? Six. All right. Oh, Should be a variety, cool. so we'll see see what we have. So we have, oh great, uh, Thanos Luchador. Oh, they're not all Luchadors. Oh, here we go. Vampire Jack. We have Snake Plissken. We have Leatherface. We have Harley Quinn. And we have Fearless Leader. So we have six different sodas. So not too bad. You get to pick one and I'll pick one. No, just one at a time. So. Harley Quinn. Okay, you open up Harley Quinn. And then don't look at the pog either after you open it. Okay, just look at her. Yep. Oh my. And then you look at the pig. The, pig, the pog. The pog. So pop it open. Yeah. Do this away from me so I can't see. so hard. You want some help? I don't. Are you sure? Don't break your fingernails. All right. We've got Leatherface. And looks like we have... Appears to be the common. Because I think the chase is bloody. So... How do you know... Don't look at the paw. How do you know if... She, and yes, it's... It's just a uh, common. There's his pog. So we got the Leatherface common, one out of 10,500. Oh, we got the common. I think. Uh, think that one's the chase. Wait, what? 
with the Good with the, no because she's holding a baseball oh. bat. I think the one with the hammer is the chase. Yep, we got chase. All right, we got the yep. chase. Let's hold this up here. All right, chase. we got Harley Quinn chase. The common she's holding a baseball bat, and in the chase she's got the uh, we got the hammer. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put her back in here. It. Not too bad. So. You know, we're going one for one so far. Vampire Jack is what I'm doing. Okay. So cool. Try not to break my fingernails. Okay. And I'm going to open Fearless Leader because I haven't ever opened one of these. I've opened this one. I haven't opened the Thanos either. So. I open. I'm not even going to look at it. Yeah, don't look at the pod. This is cheating. <laughs> Let me get it. I got it. You sure you don't want me to get it? I got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I'm not sure what the the, the chase and is for fearless leader. I so I haven't had this one before, but see, I told you I could do it. There he is in his little green outfit. So, kind of think that probably is going to be the common. Yep, that's just the common. One out of 6,250, so there we go. Okay, I don't know. Is this? I think he's, I think that's a chase. Did you pull oh. another chase? Open the can. You're gonna tell me you pulled two chases <laughs> I haven't pulled any yet. <laughs> we found a chase. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, we got another chase. The vampire it's Jack. His, his and see, I knew uh, Jack is—he's he's a glow in the dark. So if you feel, you can feel kind of a texture to it. So that's Ooh, we should see if he that's the way to know that he he glows. So. Oh, yeah. So anyway. I'm not seeing the back. I choose this one. Of course you will. I don't. I need Leave that. me with the luchador. Because <laughs> you said a oh, great luchador. <laughs> Oops. Let me put this pog in there. And always make sure you open the, the black bags. I've seen, I don't know how many different uh, videos I've seen of people that they'll open it and it'll say uh, it's a common, but then once you open the black bag, it's actually the chase. They seem to get the, the pogs wrong on occasion, so. Let's see if I get a chase, that would be, that would be amazing. That would be great, you know. <laughs> yeah, but then that one's not a chase. I don't know. So. This one, I believe, is the common because the chase he's holding a he's holding like a Mac Ten machine gun to the side. I see. So, why don't you put the lid back on? Hey. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yep, common. Yep, he's just the common. And do we get another chase? Nope. He's just the common. The chase. He's not wearing the his his uh, mask so there we go it says L terror purpura one out of 12,500 so nope he's just a common but still that's not bad at all I mean, why do you put the lid back on I just lost my plastic wrap oh well oh here it is oh, I don't want to get scratched up putting them back into the containers so but always open your black bags. You just never know. So, all right, there we go. We pulled two chases, Vampire Jack and uh, Harley Quinn. And those will be available for sale on and my I website. Them, yes, you so did. I chose the lucky one. So you won the chase roulette on that one because you got two and I didn't get any. <laughs> so what prize do I get? You get to open the next box. <laughs> we did that one. So I had another, uh, uh, we, we, uh, I went on to Culture Fly and they had a big clearance sale. Uh, you saw in my other video with my other daughter with the uh, My Hero Academia. Well, this is another My Hero Academia one, but this one is a, uh, I believe it's the, De box. the Deku box. And so I'm going to let her open this one. Oh. Hold on. I want to take plastic. You're not to use a knife. Your mother would kill me. So anyway, the so show here. I've used the knife. Before. We have uh, Deku there on the front, or Deku, or however you pronounce it. Deku. So it's not taped. So all right, go ahead and open that up. Let's see what we got inside. 
I'm excited because all of the stuff in here is mine. First, we got a nope. the card. We got another uh, Culture Fly thing. This one says 50% off your first order. Like I said before, how this could this be my first order considering I just bought one? So I guess I can okay. just make a new thing and get a new. It's probably already probably already uh, expired. But anyway, all right. What's first? Uh, a Izuku Midoriya coin bank. Okay. So. And everything in this is mine. You got that stuff. Where are you gonna put it? All right. Let's see what the coin bank looks like. Careful. It's Izuku Midoriya, and of course, Deku. Let me see. Yep. There's Deku. Deku. Which actually, this would be more as well. No, he's in his hero costume, so it would be Deku. Well, they call him Deku so, anyways, no matter what. So but it's got a nice big coin slot there in the back. Looks like it holds about six quarters, and that's going to be about it. Got the little thing on the bottom. So that's pretty cool looking. Pencil. I don't know if it's real or fake. Ballpoint pen. Oh, it's oh, a pen. pen. One for all ballpoint pen. Huh. It I looks like a pencil. I know. I thought it was a pencil. I could use that and make my huh. friends. How do you every make friend a pen come out? I'm sure that clicks down. Wait. So, uh-huh. let's finish the box. Come on. Give it to me. Let's finish the box. All right. What we got? A notebook, I think. Izuku Midoriya's 90 lined pages. Notebook, 90 lined pages. Excuse me? So it looks like, because he was always writing down stuff in the beginning while he was learning about the other uh, quirks and stuff. So so that's probably what this is. Yeah, see, it's all singed. That's, when, supposed Bak to be. that's when Bakugo took it and like, he used to quirk on it. No, it's got... Uh, I don't know if you can see that, or not, but it's got a little faint figure of some sort. Oh, that's his. That's a that's watermark. His, that's his drawing that he wanted his uh, his hero costume to look like at the very beginning of the series. Oh, okay. It's just very faintly as a watermark on the face. They're all the same. I was hoping it was like a flip book, but it's not. They're all just the same. But anyway, that's really cool. Oh, all right, yes. Next. I'm definitely keeping that. This. Oh uh, wait, I want to read it. Postcards. A postcard. Okay, I'll open it. It's my box. She won the chase roulette then. Yes, I know. So, yep, the postcards. So Here, these let me are see my them. friends. Yeah, they're different postcards. There's the uh, Class A. Or my All Might. Yep, All Might. Class A again. I am here. This. <laughs> Uh, Hannah has this poster in her room. No, I don't. Oh, I have something similar. Oh, it's similar. So, and then another one of them, Class A, in their hero outfits. So, that's pretty sweet. I like those. And do not eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was right. loud. <laughs> Next. Oh. Scar. It's a Deku scar. It has a oh, Deku on it. And it says one for all. And cute that, little Deku. That is cool. I like that. I want that. I want everything. And it has, has a little, when he was a child. That is cheesy Deku. That's it's like cutesy Deku. Cutesy Deku? Yeah. Oh, so cute. Is that when he cries? No. He cries a lot. That's just simple drawing <laughs> of Deku. <laughs> But anyway, there we go. Yeah, we had a My Hero Academia Urkel. Deku box. That was definitely worth the, the price I paid for it. I don't remember exactly what it was, this. but it was pretty Thank cheap. You, Dad. Thank so, you. yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, no, had a pretty good video here. We got the uh, had the no, two chases on the on the sodas. Um, had the Daisy Deuce, got a Hyper Rare on it. So, and of course, the Culture Fly stuff. That's pretty cool. I really like all this stuff. So, anyway. There's the video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys have been having a, having a good time with us. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, that helps with my, you know, people being able to find my videos and stuff like that. The more likes I get, more comments. Uh, leave me comments below. Let me know if I'm doing an okay job or you think I suck or whatever. 
you know, if I have something I need to change or there's something else you'd like to see, one of these days here soon, I'm going to go take Mulch Diggums with a friend of mine and we're going to stuff him full of Tannerite. One of these days. Wait, what? what? And we're going to see him go. What is it? Wait. It's an explosive you that you shoot it? it and it goes boom and he turns into dust. It's like magic dust. What does he look it's like? It's not magic dust, <laughs> it's explosive dust. But anyway, one of these days here soon, I just got to get a hold of Jeremy over there at Queen, C Queen City Graphics and let's uh, make a time to go do that. I think I've got a couple other ones I'd like to do that too as well. I got I got a couple of those 10-inch uh, Ezra's and I also have a 10-inch Huckleberry Hound that nobody ever seems to want to buy. So they're just sitting around taking up space. We might as well make them take up less. Or would it be less space because they would be powdered? Or would they be more space because they'd be everywhere? More space because they'd be everywhere. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Wait, if you'd like to see that in the future, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. There's a little bell down there you can click that will give you a heads up when I do a new uh, video working on getting my website all completed uh, with all new pops and everything on there so all right i hope you guys have liked the video uh, be sure to come back next time and check us out and i hope you have a great day